Hey there, Scorpio. How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be doing your uh, little quick card read here. This is a very quick video. I'm stopping by to, uh, you know, say hello to all of you. And uh, if you're unfamiliar, I am uh, a tarot reader, certified angel oracle reader as well, thanks to uh, Nicole's classes there. So definitely check her out. She is my spiritual mama is what I like to uh, call her. So let's just get started here for Scorpio. Ruling planets, you not only have one, you've got two, Mars and Pluto. You are a water sign. All right, so let's pull a card for you to see kind of what's going on. This reading can go vice versa. This is not gender specific. And Crosswatcher, pull up a seat you know this could have to do with somebody of inquiry especially when it comes to love all right or uh, lack thereof business anything all right so just to kind of give you all a little bit of an idea of what I do here all right I do work with multiple cards and oracles and ruins and this and that crystals and of course if there's something that I cannot help you out with I'd be more than happy to uh, guide you as far and especially recommend Nicole all right so two of wands we have decisions here for Scorpio. Scorpio, what decision is this? It seems to me like, uh, and again, this could have to do with love, career, health, uh, finances. I, I feel like for a lot of my fabulous Scorpios out there, I love you and adore you. Uh, according to, you know, uh, I'm a Taurus. They consider Scorpio my opposite sign, you, if you will. Uh, so, it's like we love we love each other or really do not get along. <laughs> so, uh, but again, everybody is different. Some of you could be working with Scorpio energy or working with your shadow uh, selves, if you will, kind of going in deep here. You are very in tune. All right. You'll notice the hummingbird right there. That's also uh, animal spirit guide coming in. And basically what the hummingbird represents is literally to lighten up. Some of you uh, may be on the same path as I am when it comes to possibly losing weight. Uh, Scorpios are very sensitive, very in tune. All right. I've always said that for years. You know, they can they make the best detectives, uh, especially when it comes to uh don't get a Scorpio going, you know, uh, they will get to the bottom of things. And but this is representing to lighten up if there's an answer that you've been seeking, and it's been harder for you to find, you know, ask your angels, ask your spirit guides, ask your ancestors, you know, that only have your best interests at hand and look at this. See how she has that daisy right there. Remember that game as a child? He loves me or she loves me, loves me not, loves me, loves me not. And uh, I remember as a child, I would keep doing that. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's just like, if I did not get the right answer, I'd keep going until I did. So, you know, this is lightening up. This is possibly finding uh, an answer that is outside the box and that you never would have thought uh, you could, it could come to you in a dream, you know, but this is a decision that you've been waiting on. However, action does have to be taken. All right. As far as that goes. So let's just pull a couple more cards here for our Scorpios when it comes to October 2020. You know, again, very generalized. Feel free to check out my channel uh, for the longer readings, the lives, this and that. So uh, we have it, the King of Swords right here. All right. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten Completion to a Cycle, very generalized. All right. Uh, two can represent partnerships as well, but that's just really, really generalized. All right. Um, you know, I've pulled the 10 here for a lot of the other signs as well. Feel free to go back and check out those videos. But it seems to me that when it comes to finances or in a relationship, uh, I'm not sure if you're worried about finances or fighting over money. And, uh, you know, Nicole knows what I'm thinking here. And I'm going to save that for another day, possibly for a class or something like that. Tips and tricks on how to possibly not fight over money. All right. Some of you could be working with Earth signs, Taurus, uh, Virgo, possibly Capricorn. Again, other water signs other than yourself, Scorpio, 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 Cancer, you know, possibly Scorpio, Pisces. But who is this in the background here? You know, who's after your moolah here? 
you know, is somebody jealous of you? We also have the turtle right there. You know, slow and steady wins the race. The completion to the cycle. And completion to cycles can be very uncomfortable, and I do understand that. However, this is very positive. I'm really liking this. All right. Um, also, too, something saying not to be so tight-fisted over money. And I, it's just like, well, Carolyn, what money? I'm having financial issues right now. All right. Uh, also, too, be on the lookout. If you get any rewards or any bonus checks, anything like that, that people aren't, you know, acting like vultures circling around trying to be like, hey, I know I just like really got you upset, but... I need something. You're the king of swords here, all right? Uh, and I love the look on the face there. That's determination. That's cutting the cord. That's wonderful. Also possibly working with a Leo energy. So, again, very generalized. You know, hopefully your cards of the day were helpful. So thank you, and until next time.